everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm your host, Luca, and today we're gonna talk about how Sniper Wolf doxed Jack Films. Let's get into it. So, have you ever watched a TikTok reaction video? Well, if you clicked on this video, you've probably heard of Sniper Wolf before. Which must mean you probably watched her at least once or twice. Which means you probably have seen one of her TikTok reactions. But the TikTok reactions won't really be that interesting in this video because it won't really take that big of a part in this video. And so Sniper Wolf is a channel of 10 million and even more actually. But all I know is really that she had 10 million about like few months ago oh well but you know she hit way more than 10 million she's probably at like 12 million right now I'm not completely sure but she'll put on screen right now of how many subscribers, subscribers she has yeah that's how many ha she has okay get it off the screen so basically sniper wolf docs jack films in. so jack films is basically the channel well you probably heard of uh, like yesterday, I asked you, you've probably heard of Yai, um, you know, pretty popular series on YouTube, especially in around 2017 to 2020, um, I used to watch him actually, I watched both of their channels quite frequently when they were popular, um, I'm currently not subscribed to either of them, because, you know, I just lost interest in them, so yeah, basically, you might have heard of Yai, so we don't really need to talk about Jack films. Because I'm pretty sure that's what she's the most well known for. Alright, so basically, how this all happened is one day, I guess, you know, Jack films came around Sniper Wolf's videos because they're quite popular. Sniper Wolf has been nominated as one of the best YouTubers and has always been like. The YouTuber that YouTube, well, the founders of YouTube, love the most because on Twitter, or as now called X, which actually most of this drama happened on X and Instagram. But basically, what happened is YouTube really like likes Sniper Wolf and her videos, and they prized her as like their favorite YouTuber overall. Although she kind of steals content. And the problem that Jack Films has with Sniper Wolf is basically like Sniper Wolf makes videos reacting to TikToks, but most of the time she doesn't really make much of a change to the TikTok. Because basically what she does is she takes the TikTok, downloads it without a watermark, which basically gives no credit to the original creator and she doesn't even list the creators of the videos in the comments section she just uses her their videos although she doesn't even credit the creators of the original videos on tiktok and she doesn't even ha have like like she doesn't even add much context to the videos she'll maybe throw a chuckle in there most of the time the reactions are like, <laughs> bro, or <laughs> wow, look at that guy. Or she will just simply say what exactly what happened in the video. She will just repeat what happened in the video in different words. And some of the time, well, actually, most of the time, she doesn't even change what actually happens in the videos. And sometimes she even cuts off the text at the top, the captions of the video, and she just repeats the captions as if it's her punchline, but in reality it was made by some other guy on TikTok, where she stole the TikTok from. Sometimes she even takes the puns from like the comments section, and yeah, basically that's what happens. And Jack Films thought, that's, that's kind of just stealing, you know? That's not really um, um, saying, oh yeah, this is really cool, because like most like people 
that post TikToks on YouTube. Not just reactions, but like, actually just like compilations of TikToks. And even YouTube Shorts creators that just re-upload TikToks. Most of the time, you will see the watermark of the original video there. Because they're either too lazy to actually like get one of those downloaders which Sniper Wolf uses to remove the watermark. Or most or sometimes it's just like, you know what? Leave the watermark there. You know what? Just give some support to the original creators, but Sniper Wolf doesn't do that. She doesn't even download the video with a watermark. Because there's these websites where you can download TikToks without watermarks, YouTube shorts without watermarks. Basically any video off of any website without watermarks. Um, I've not come across the website yet, but you can find similar like apps and websites, some on the Google Play Store or the App Store, or the Huawei App Gallery or the Xiaomi Mi Store or whatever app store you use, um, Tizen Store, Linux, Ubuntu Store, you know, what, whatever you use to download apps, you'll probably find something similar to, you know, Oh yeah, the Microsoft Store too, almost forgot about that one. You can probably find a TikTok downloader, YouTube downloader, any type of downloader of any type of video on the online. Just as long as, as it's not something illegal. But most of the time you can still download illegal videos too. You can download fr videos from like cinemas or something, or you can download a Mario movie or some movies that haven't even been released yet. It, it happens quite quite a lot. So basically, Sniper Wolf just stole these guys' videos and didn't even get credit. So yeah, then Jack Films started making videos about her and how much he doesn't like that Sniper Wolf is just stealing videos from people, just TikTok creators that are just trying to live their best life and posting funny videos. You know, just Sniper Wolf takes them off of him, or her, or it, or them, or whatever the pronouns of the video, of the people that made the videos are, and just takes the videos without any watermark. So he started, so he started um, making videos about how he doesn't like Sniper Wolf just stealing these people's videos. And then after a while, he, Jack Films started to mock Sniper Wolf, because, you know, he thought that wasn't correct for just him to steal the people's video. No, well, her to steal the people's videos. So then, he made a whole entire new YouTube channel just to mock Sniper Wolf. Because if you didn't know, it's not just Sniper Wolf, it's actually SSS Sniper Wolf, Sniper Wolf. The SS at the start comes from the her original YouTube name which I don't think I'm allowed to say but I am gonna put it up on screen right now yeah that's why I didn't say it so basically to mock her he made a YouTube channel called JJ Jack Films JJ Jack Films you know so then he made that YouTube channel mocking Sniper Wolf pretending he's Sniper Wolf um, uh, making her, you know, thumbnails, which are not really her thumbnails anymore because the most other YouTubers copy her thumbnails to get a lot of subscribers. But I would never do that. S stop, stop, um, putting evidence on the screen, please. Start 
going bingo or live, predicting what she's going to say, taking off the things that she already said. So then, well, I'm gonna explain it. This. So then, after that, Sniper got so fed up that she posted an Instagram post saying, Should I go to Digital Jackson's house? And she actually went to Jackson's house. Like, she went to his house, took pictures, videos, whatever, posted them to Instagram, Twitter, all this stuff. So then, after that, Jackson saw this and was like, Wait, did you just go to my house? And actually, Sniper Wolf even knocked on the door of Jackson's house. So, yeah, after that, she got started getting hate from some Jack Films fans, and even her own fans started hating on her because she basically just said, Hey guys, look, it's this random guy's house on the internet. And the thing is, it's not only Jack Films that lives there, it's also his girlfriend, which is not a YouTuber. She's just a normal human being, like you, like me, well, I'm also a YouTuber, so that doesn't really count, but she's a normal human being. She has basically almost nothing to do with all this drama. She, she also doesn't even get promoted, kind of, at all on his YouTube channel. Some people actually don't even know about her, which... Honestly, I cannot really say anything about them because neither did I know that she has a wife. Or well, actually, he has a wife. I keep getting the uh, pronouns and stuff. Oh well, but so yeah, basically, she just she just posted his address. Well, not like literally posted his address, but some of those stupid GeoGuessr players could probably be like. Oh look, this looks like it could, it could be Arizona, okay? Um, and yeah, there's Patroni, uh, there's the address. So basically, she just posted a picture of Jack Phillips' house, knocked on the door and whatever. But then, after she started getting hate from her own fans, she later posted a story on her Instagram where she said, well, uh, this is not completely what she said, but this is what I remember. So she said, in some words that I remember, I did not dox Jack Films. I don't even know what doxing is. And blah blah blah, and so on and so on. So yeah, that's basically what's been happening so far. If any more, like, um, any more stuff and news and whatever comes out after this video comes out. I'm not really a YouTube channel that makes YouTuber that makes a whole lot of videos like telling stories about some controversies. But um, I might post some more videos. So yeah, basically. Now I'm gonna share my opinion because if you didn't know this is this script was actually made using ChatGPT. Not completely. ChatGPT gave me the ideas for what I should put in the script. But basically, she's um she or he or it or whatever ChatGPT pronouns are. It said I should now give my own analysis and what I think. So what I think is I am definitely on Jack Phillips' side. I know, I know, he, he like, he did hate on her for about like half a year or even more than half a year. Probably almost a year now. So I totally agree with like her sometimes. Cause like honestly, I would feel kind of bad if somebody 
kept hating on my videos and being like, Oh, look at this guy's videos! He just copies SML! Oh, look at how stupid he is! Oh, let's play Bingo! I would honestly kind of feel the same as Sniper Wolf. But not, I wouldn't be like, Guys, let's go to this motherfucker's house! Let's pass this biatch! No! That's not the right thing to do. If you feel like somebody on the internet is hating on you, and you just don't like how they're treating you on the internet, just don't dox them, please. If you feel like they're just hating on you, ignore them, report them, block them, whatever you have to do, but do not dox them, guys. Kids, whoever's watching this video, not dox people. It's not a good thing. Cause if you get the address into some bad people's hands, you don't know what they can do with the address. Sometimes leaving it swatted, which is basically when somebody makes a police call and they're like, "Now what was it, Thursday? Hi. So um, there's a bomb at this address, and then they see the address of the YouTuber, and they get swatted while filming a video." Or maybe they could just be chilling, like you, right now. They could just be watching a YouTube video, like mine. And all of a sudden, the next thing they know, all they hear is... So yeah, you probably wouldn't want to be swatted. So, don't post people's address on the internet. Don't do bad stuff, kids. Don't do crack. Or don't do coke. Unless it's the day. A big block, block. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out.